गुड मॉर्निंग इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गोन सी केथ मिसिंग पॉजिटिव नंबर ऑल दो इट इज मार्क एज ईजी बट इफ यू गोन टू दी नीटिग्रिटीज ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन टू फाइंड आउट ओके हाउ टू डू द बेटर सोल्यूशन देन इट्स एक्चुअली अ मीडियम बट यू आर एट सी दैट द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट वी आर गिवेन इन आर ए कॉल एर आर ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजियस सॉर्टेड इन द स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ओके ऑफ एंड एन इंटीजियर के रिटर्न द केथ पॉजिटिव इंटीजियर दैट इज मिसिंग फ्रॉम दिस आर ए लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इट फ्रॉम दिस एग्जाम्पल रियली क्विकली इट जिस से इज दैट वी आर गिवेन एन आर ए लेट्स ए टू थ्री फोर सेवन and uh, let's say if we write the numbers down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 like up till then so what is the fifth missing number from this array so you can easily see one is missing but the two is not missing three is not missing four is not missing five is missing six is missing seven is not missing eight is missing nine is missing so 1 5 6 8 9 nine is the fifth missing number in this array so we just have to return a 9 right let's quickly see the next example too if the array is 1 2 3 4 4 if we write the number down like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 as like this so we will see okay 1 is not missing 2 is not missing 3 is not missing 4 is not missing 5 is missing 6 is missing 6 is the second missing element in this array cool now we have got the idea of the question what the question is saying but let's see how we're going to solve this so first let's see okay if we have this constraints array length is 1000 and my k is 1000 so one option is very optimal one to be sure is that we can easily solve it by using these two pointers that okay we can see and iterate on my array and my those n numbers simultaneously and see if i'm pointing at let's say n and i'm pointing at my array and i'm pointing at my number n i'll see if they are matching which means that element was not a missing element if they are not matching which means here example i am pointing at 1 and starting of the array at 2 if these both would have been same which means that my particular element of n it is not missing but they are not same for example in this case my 1 is not same as 2 which means my 1 is a missing element which is not into as both are sorted so it's for sure that everything will come before which means that okay it was sorted so it should like if 1 would have been in the array arr so it should have been earlier only so it it would have been in the starting itself if 1 is not in the starting which means my 1 was not present at all so which means my 1 was a missing element so my k was 5 i got one missing element so i reduced my k to 4 now i moved on to the next one 2 and 2 i just moved my n pointer just ahead 2 and 2 both are same which means it's not a missing element so my k remains as it is cool my k remains as it is i moved my next pointer to 3 cool both are still same still my k remains as it is i move my pointer ahead i move whenever i found it's same i move both of my pointers cool now it's also same cool no worries my k is still same now i just move my pointer ahead now you can easily see that it's different 5 and 7 are different right so my 5 is a missing element so i reduce my k to 3 because i have found another missing element now my k is 3 pretty cool again it's 6 and 7 right still it's not same which means it's a missing element so i reduce my k to 2 cool again my k is 2 now i am at this location same same it's a, not a missing element so my k remains same then i move my pointer again right it's 8 it's 11 it's not same which means it's a missing element so i reduce my k to 1 now my k is 1 it's at 9 it's at 11 not same so i reduce my k to 0 oh k has been reduced to 0 which means that i need to find k which means five missing elements and my k is now 0 which means i have found fifth missing element right now so i can just return this 9 and yeah it's my answer so you can just see that okay i just found my fifth missing element as 9 and i made this whole thing by just using these two pointers and iterating on this n array only once as you can see at one step at a time i'm just moving ahead of this n at every step i'm moving ahead of this n so its complexity is o of n and as no space is using just two pointers so i can just say it's o of one space but 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 in the problem itself it said that okay 
Yeah, and you do it in less than O of n, which means less than O of n is always mostly O of log n. Is it? So first thing it mind comes is okay, we have to do it in O of log n. So the first thing O of log n and one thing is sorted. Okay, another thing we have to do in O of log n. Sorted O of log n, sorted O of log n. Binary search. That's the reason we are trying, not sure, we are trying to use binary search because it's sorted and we have to do it in log n. That's it. That's the main intuition. Why we thought of binary search, binary search at the first place. Now, when we think of binary search, okay, what we have? L pointer, R pointer, mid. Cool. L pointer, R pointer. Hey, Aryan, usually we take R pointer as the end of this array, right? Which would have been 4. Why you took R equal to 5, which means beyond this array? Can you give the answer for that? Oh, yeah, for sure. But we will see it later. Not now. Else it, it will confuse you. So we take my L pointer as a starting of the array and R pointer as the ending, which means the fifth index, which means just outside this array. Right? Cool. I just find the mid out of it, which is for sure 2, which is L plus R by 2. Okay, I found the mid. Now comes the interesting part. Now we have found the mid. But the next step, like in a binary search, what's the next step? We have L. We write while L is less than R. Then we compute mid. Okay, we computed mid. But then the main operation comes. That we have to shift our L or we have to shift our R beyond the mid. Right. Now, how to decide on the shifting part? Here comes the picture. If we clearly see what we have with us is something like this. Right. So, it just says, okay, if I am specific to a particular index, let's say I am standing here. So, what it says is I am standing at the index 3 and the value is 7. What it says is that if I am standing at 7, and the index is 3, which means that 3 elements have come before it, which means that it is the 4th element. It is the 4th element. If it is the 4th element, and if everything would have been sorted, if everything would have been fine, okay, so the 4th element would have been a 4, because it is like 1, 2, 3, 4. So instead of a 7, if, if everything would have been fine, so the 4th element would have been a 4. Because we would have started writing like 1, 2, 3, 4, no missing elements, nothing missing, everything is fine, everything is cool. But it is 7 and not a 4. It should have been a 4, but it is, it is a 7, which means that 3 elements, 7 minus 4, 3 elements are missing before this particular thing. So my at index 3, if I have value 7, it indicates that before this, which means including this, I have 3 because it is, if index is 3, which means it is the fourth element. So it is actually a fourth element. So it just shows that, okay, I have three missing elements before it. It's the reason that it will help us to find, because now you thought one thing, what we use the word as, it shows us number of missing elements, which means that it showed me, that particular index showed me, it has three missing elements before it. Now, if I am at 7, it showed me, okay, 1 was missing, 5 was missing, and 6 was missing. But it just showed me the number, okay. I just have 3 missing elements before it. And I showed you right now how. So, basically, if I am at index i, so number of missing elements before it would be nothing but ai minus of i plus 1. i plus 1 indicates, okay, actual number of elements. If i is 3, which means 4 elements have, would have been there. And ai is just actual element present at that index. Here it is 7, i was 3, plus 1, which means 4. Now it gives me 3. Okay, now you got it. Okay, how you will find number of missing elements, which if you are standing at that index. Now let's move back to the problem. What the problem said was, okay, if I'm standing at L, I'm standing at R, I got the mid. From that mid, I can easily find, okay, if I'm standing at mid, what are the number of missing elements before it? If I have this whole thing, what are the number of elements before it? It said, okay, it has one missing element. It says it has one missing element. Now comes the interesting part. So it says that in this part, there is only one missing element, which means that I need to find the fifth missing element, which means the, which means that the remaining four missing elements are in the next part. It's for sure that one missing element is in the left part. So remaining four will be in the right part. And I want fifth missing element. So I just say, okay, 
Okay, missing a number of elements are one, which is actually less than my k, which is five, which is the fifth missing element I need to find. So I just increased my l from zero to mid plus one. As we do in the binary search, now the condition was the condition here, right here. I found the missing elements, which was before this range, which means from L to mid number of missing elements. If it is less than the required missing elements, so I move my L forward. If it would have been more, I would have moved my L backwards. Let's see. Now I moved my L forward because see, mid was here, right? Mid was here. I just moved my L by mid plus one. Now my L is here, my R is here, right? So mid is now this particular thing for cool no worries at all number of missing elements in this range would be nothing but 11 minus 4 plus 1 which is 6 it is more than 5 it just says okay number of missing elements in this range would be 6 but i want fifth missing elements so i need to reduce my r cool no worries i reduce my r to mid now my l is 3 r is 4 mid will be actually 3 okay now number of missing elements in this range would be 7 minus 3 plus 1 which is 3 it's actually less than k Right, so I need to move my L. Cool, no worries. I moved my L. Now my R is here. So my mid will also be here. Now I checked, okay. But why I will check? I will not check, right? Because L is equal to R. In the case of binary search, we put the condition. Why L is less than R? Now L has become equal to R. So our loop will break. Now, 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 one thing. I have reached a condition, okay. My L is equal to R. Which means my L is pointing to 4 and the element is 11. R and what to do with it? What will I do with it? It just nothing says about the answer. How will you say? Okay. We got to a point where L is equal to R. We are at an index which is right here. We are at the index 4 and the element is 11. Now we will try to find what will be the kth missing element. How? Let's see. Here as you can clearly see that we landed finally after binary search completed at L equal to now let's take an example that we have to find our kth missing element right so let's imagine that element to be z now hypothetically what our answer says is see what was l what was l l was just the location of our hypothetical missing element L was just the location of our hypothetical missing element. So L, if L was just the location of our hypothetical missing element, so it means that before that thing, four elements were present. These four were present. So, and how many number of elements we need to have? We have K missing elements. Four elements were present before it. My element would come after here. So basically, if let's say if I have the hypothetical element, which is the kth missing element, this L equal to 4 represents. Okay. If the value is let's say z, so z would have been here. Now, if z would have been here, so I can clearly say, okay, I have these four missing elements. I have these four existing elements. And how many number of missing elements were there? Five. So basically, if I just say, okay, it is one, two, three, and four. So basically after these five elements, I will have my number, which means I will just have a Z of four plus five. You understand why? It is because I just imagine, okay, my Z is at the location right here, when I, where L equal to four, which means that the, pre, the previous elements were existingly there. So basically previous elements will for sure be there. And let's say it's not uh, a two, three, four, seven. Let's say, let's say it's one, two, three, four, or just four elements. And I want five more elements to get to this location, z. So the actual value of z will be nothing but 9, which is 4 plus 5. 4 is because of it has 4 previous elements and 5 will actually be the missing elements. So it get a 9, which is actually the location. See, if I earlier it was 11, right? If I replace it with 9, so basically 9 was the actual location. If 9 would have been the answer, it was the actual location of L equal to 4. So my L equal to 4 showed me, okay, what was the 9 location? And I know, okay, previously I had 4 elements and 5 elements were missing. So I just added a 5. So I got a 9. Thus, we got the 9. And thus we have the answer. Now you will see, okay, that we showed. But one thing we earlier said, okay, I will show you why we took my R as not N minus 1, but a N. It's because 
the missing element it can also lie outside the array see when we choose the bounds we choose the bounds such that l and r we choose the bounds such that it's whatsoever will happen will happen between these bounds right if l and r is l is 0 and r is n minus 1 so it will it's it says that okay everything will be inside the array but our existing element or see the missing element it can be outside the array as well it's the reason we took our r as n and not n minus 1 I hope that you guys understood the entire logic and entire concept behind it. Let me quickly show the code. It's very, very, very simple. It just says that, okay, while my L is less than R, I just did a mid. The prime condition, I just found the element, index plus one. If it shows the number of missing elements, it shows the number of missing elements from L to mid. If this is less than K, so I need to increase my mid. If it is not, then I just bring my R to mid. And ultimately, as I showed you guys, that why we need to do a L plus R, L plus K, it's because I have four elements before it and the actual location of Z, which is actually after we know it's nine. So before, after that, we need to have five, add five new missing elements. Thus, I did a L plus K and, and for sure, my L and K, both oh, L and R, both are same. Ultimately, it will lie at the same place. So yeah, L plus K would be what is what we return. So the complexity will be O of log N and thus we reduce from N to O of log N. I hope that you guys liked it. If yes, then do hit the like button. It motivates me a lot. And yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye. Take care.